In this vidcast, let's talk about what I call the five golden rules for buying property. These are the general guidelines which should shape your attitude when you're about to buy property. The must-dos and the sometimes must-do-nots that you should take notice of every time you're about to invest in property. Rule number one, have the 20 questions handy. The 20 must-ask questions will uncover everything that you need to know about an area and then the property that you've selected to buy. As long as you use them and make sure that you get a positive answer for every one, you can know the area that you eventually buy in even better than you know the one that you now live in and you can improve your investing outcomes. When you consider the detailed information which those questions uncover, you can see how knowledgeable you can become in a relatively short space of time. More importantly, that knowledge will be the kind from which you can make valid purchase decisions without emotion. Rule number two, looking at a property doesn't change its outcome as an investment. The qualities which make a good investment aren't physical. In fact, looking at a property that you think might satisfy all the criteria can often cause you to overlook the more important features as a physical inspection generally leads to an emotional attachment of some kind. Alternatively, looking at a property may lead to a rejection of a property which would otherwise make a great investment purely on the basis that you were turned off by its lack of physical appeal. For those of you who are thinking that not viewing a property may result in the purchase of a property with serious and expensive structural defects, I pose this question. Would you actually be able to recognise such defects if you inspected the property? Probably not, and this is why we employ qualified building inspectors after we've made the decision to buy. Rule number three, you can't think like your prospective tenant. You may feel that you have an instinct for what people like as a place to live, but you don't. You can't think or feel like the person who's going to be your tenant, so only buying what you would personally live in isn't a valid selection criteria. Rule number four, it's not about iconic locations. The area doesn't need to be currently popular or in a special sought after location. In fact, the words location, location haven't really applied that well to property investing with many areas situated in what you might think of as a bad location eventually performing incredibly well from a growth point of view. Your personal feelings need to be put aside. And finally, rule number five, you simply can't become too involved. People often buy near where they live because they want to be able to look after the property themselves. Quite frankly, the last thing I want to be able to do is to actually watch my investment to see how the tenants aren't looking after my property or to be involved in any way. This might be a nice idea if you have one or two properties, but if you're serious about a property portfolio, then once you have three or more, the reality is you simply can't become so involved. Use these rules as your overarching guide and your success in property investing will grow exponentially.